So in problem number 33 of section 2.6, uh, we're asked to find an upper bound for the absolute error of the integral from 0 to 3 of e to the x squared uh, dx if we use Simpson's rule. Now, remember that the error uh, using Simpson's rule is always less than or equal to m times b minus a to the fifth over 180 uh, n to the fourth, where uh, m is the uh, upper bound of uh, the absolute value of the fourth derivative of f on the interval 0 to 3. And of course, b is equal to 3 and a is equal to 0. And n is the number of approximations, uh, or the number of intervals that we use uh, in the approximation. But we're just going to leave our answer in terms of n for this problem. All right, so this is equal to uh, m times 3 to the fifth over 180 n to the fourth. The only work that we really have to do is figuring out what m is equal to. Uh, so m is just a number such that absolute value of fourth derivative of x is less than or equal to m uh, on the interval close interval is 0 to 3. So let's start computing the derivatives. So if we let f of x equal e to the x squared, uh, then f prime of x is 2x times e to the x squared uh, using the chain rule. And now using the product rule, we find the second derivative is well, the derivative of the first part, so 2 times the second part, e to the x squared, plus the first part, 2x, times the derivative of the second part, which is 2x e to the x squared. So this is equal to 2 uh, times e to the x squared, plus 4x squared, e to the x squared. Now, the third derivative, uh, so the derivative of the first part is uh, 4x e to the x squared using the chain rule. And the derivative of the second part using the product rule is, let's see, 8x times e to the x squared uh, plus 4x squared times 2x e to the x squared. This simplifies to 4x e to the x squared plus 8x e to the x squared plus 8x cubed e to the x squared. And finally, we can, we can combine the first two terms uh, and change the coefficient to 12. All right, and finally, the fourth derivative of f with respect to x is, well, use product rule. So derivative of the first part is 12 times e to the x squared plus 12x times the derivative of the second part, which is uh, 2x e to the x squared. And the derivative of the second term, we again use the product rule. So 24x squared times e to the x squared plus 8x cubed times 2x e to the x squared. All right, and this simplifies to, well, we can factor out e to the x squared out of each term. That leaves us well with uh, 12 is the only constant term. And here we've got 24x squared, and we've got 24x squared here. So that's 48x squared. And finally, we have 8 times 2, or 16, uh, 
uh, x to the fourth. All right, so we want to know when is this, uh, what is the maximum value that this function can take on uh, on the interval x equals 0 to 3. Well, see that it's strictly increasing um, on the interval 0 to 3. So the largest value is just going to be and set m equal to the fourth derivative of f evaluated at 3, which is equal to, if you work it all out, 1,740 times e to the ninth. So this means that uh, the maximum error that can occur uh, using Simpson's rule is 1,740 times e to the ninth uh, times 3 to the fifth over 180 n to the fourth. Uh, 